But we begin tonight with those 45 seconds of panic for some local parents. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Their newborn baby struggling to breathe. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? That's body camera video from a Monroe police officer who stepped in to help. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is in Monroe tonight after talking to that officer who's now being called a hero. It was right here at this Harrison Street home where the officer jumped out of his car and got right to work. Only a few seconds went by before he had everything under control. What's normally a quiet shift for Officer Jordan Patterson turned urgent. Where is he? Yeah, I believe it was 15 minutes before the end of my shift. I was putting my gear away and that call comes out. Monroe City Fire respond for everyone for a medical two week old child that was choking. And within a minute, Officer Patterson, the first on scene. An infant that fit into the palm of his hand believed to be choking, something that sends more than 12,000 children to the hospital every year. Well, scary, obviously, at the time. Neighbor Athena Clausen, who also happens to be a nurse, watching from across the street. I happened to look outside and I noticed um, there was some uh, fire truck and an ambulance outside and I noticed the cop had something in his hand. I couldn't tell at first what it was, and I noticed it was a, a, a little bitty baby. So I grabbed the baby. I did some back blows on it. Mm -hmm. um, it sounded like it started coughing it up, but it still wasn't fully breathing, and that's when Dad suction cupped out whatever was in its mouth, and that's when the baby started crying. Yeah, and as soon as I get it to cry, I bless And just a year into the job, Patterson is being hailed a hero at his department. I actually remember in the academy, um, they were teaching us for like a month uh, first aid on infants, adults, children, and I was thinking in my head like, no way am I ever going to have to use this. Maybe once in my career. The officer says this was a team effort crediting the baby's father and other emergency workers on scene, but says it's things like this that fuel him to wear his badge every day. It feels good because hard work actually paid off, so and I'm glad I was able to assist that family. You know, and that's why I got into this job. That officer says, although his department is very proud of the work that he did here earlier this month, he couldn't have done any of it without the help of that dad and all the other emergency personnel that were here. Reporting here in Monroe, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. All right.